you're a data analyst or you're considering making a career change to a data analytics career. So now you're wondering, what are my career path options? Let's look at the most common data analyst career paths. I'm Jen and I demystify analytics and analytics careers. There are thousands of different unique paths that your data analyst career could take. Let's break down what four of them look like in more general terms. These four general categories still have a lot of variety even within them, but they're a good starting place. So those four different areas are going a more technical path, going a managerial path, becoming a subject matter expert, or making other lateral moves. Now, let's get into what each one entails. The first type of career path for a data analyst is a technical or technical specialist career path. This is staying in a role that gets more technical over time. So you might start out as a junior data analyst or data analyst, move on to a senior level position. And if you decide to develop your technical skills even more, maybe you broaden your experience, broaden your educational knowledge and move into a data science role down the line. This is a popular option for those that like working behind the scenes, enjoy the technical or coding aspects of the job, and maybe don't necessarily want to lead a team of people or work in in roles that may require a little bit more collaboration across the organization. This can be a great foundation for other roles though. Having technical expertise could look like specializing in different topic areas. Maybe you specialize in things like marketing analytics and get really deep into the technical aspects of that. Maybe you focus more on the financial side or supply chain. There are a lot of different directions even within the technical field Field that you can do. And you may find that those technical skills let you step into other subject areas. You're not locked into just sticking with one role or one progression throughout your career path. Speaking of developing technical skills in a particular area, the second type of career path that a data analyst might follow is more of a subject matter expert path. This is something where maybe your technical skills get stronger, maybe they stay about the same, but your knowledge of a particular area deepens. Typically a subject matter expert would have a lot of knowledge, not just of the analytics, but of the data itself and how the organization might use that data. So again, you might specialize in something like supply chain analytics, or maybe you specialize in sales analytics, audit analytics. There are even smaller niches, things like warranty or claim analysis that could happen at a broad scale at an insurance company or in healthcare, or it could happen at a smaller scale on pretty much any decent sized manufacturer that produces a product where they have some warranty or claims that they cover. For some people in this data analyst career path, they'll use it as a chance to transition into more of a business analyst or even maybe a project management related role where they're bringing all of this expertise and knowledge about their particular field to the table in addition to the skills. This can also be a good path to follow if you think you might wanna step into less technical roles in the future. You're bringing to the table all of this technical knowledge, which is an asset in almost every job today, but you're also bringing that subject matter knowledge, that marketing expertise or financial expertise or supply chain expertise or healthcare expertise or whatever your specialty area may be. And you can leverage this to move within the company you're at or potentially to move into other less technical roles within another organization. The third path a data analyst career might follow is more of a management path. You'll start out still in that technical role that you're in, but rather than getting more technical or focusing exclusively on knowledge of the subject area you're working in, you're working more towards managing teams. This could look like taking on a lead role in your team. It could look like managing teams. Oftentimes this will look like managing people that might be a team partly consisting of analysts and partly consisting of other business functions or business users. While there are some companies that implement analytics as a complete center of excellence, center of expertise, and they're their own standalone part of the organization. Most companies at minimum use a hybrid approach where even if they have these centralized resources, they also have people that are sitting in the business to help the business accomplish whatever their goals are. Management can be a path that leads a variety of different places. It can lean more into those technical roles and working as a liaison to the business, or it can lead to really any different area that you might want to consider 
consider within management stepping into leading teams of analysts as the first step along the way. This is great if you like more communication, if you have really good people skills. It's an option that is usually not the one that people that are the highest technically skilled people will take because oftentimes the people that are really technically skilled will thrive more in that environment that lets them do the things that they excel at, working on those technical skills, working on those technical problems, which is something you just don't have as much time for when you're managing a team. The fourth data analyst career path is lateral moves. This is a gigantic category that captures lots of different things. So it could look like some of that subject matter expertise and lateral movement there, moving into a business analyst role. If you're strong in the marketing area, moving into more of a, a marketer role or something that, that's niche within marketing that isn't exclusively analytics. The lateral roles are wide open and a lot of this develops based on your interaction with other people. As a data analyst, depending on the size of your company and your role, you'll probably be interacting with a lot of different people. You'll have a lot of opportunity to try out different skills, see what things appeal to you. And analytics is a foundation Understanding data, understanding how to make decisions off of data and tell stories off of data is an asset that's going to serve you well regardless of the job that you're in. So bringing those skills to the table as you transition in maybe a lateral way or something that moves away from the day-to-day -day technical of a data analyst professional is an option for people that start out in a data analyst role or transition into a data analyst role. Those are four of the generic common career paths that a data analyst might take. Like I said, there are thousands of different ways that this can manifest itself for each individual person. Most people are going to have unique career paths to them. Maybe you'll do a little technical, maybe you'll go less technical, but regardless, you can develop along the way. And this is one of the great things about a data analyst career. You don't have to make that decision right away. And you have some fluidity to move between different positions, different types of roles. If you spend two decades going a little more technical, technical, yes, it's going to be a little bit challenging to move to one of the other directions of paths, but it's certainly still an option that you can work towards. So let me know in the comments below, what kind of career path are you interested in as a data analyst?